Don Lemon has a new show hmm. and oh, um, kicked great. it off with Elon Musk and <laughs> so got good. fired yes. before. And um, it may, I know you're joking that it's so good, but because you haven't watched it, but I did get some clips for you, Moynihan. Oh, oh. This is my I watched gift. the Elon one. Is this a new Yes, episode? this is a new little compilation a, like, of his copy? <laughs> questions. You tell me okay. what, what you think about right. this. Um, to Kevin O'Leary, Mr. Wonderful, mm. just yesterday yep. Yep. on his show. TikTok. Time is running out for the social platform known as TikTok. Hi, everyone. I'm Don Lemon. Welcome to the Don Lemon Show. <laughs> he didn't do that. I couldn't help myself with that one. Because many people, including senators, members of Congress on both sides of the aisle, they have really expressed concerns about TikTok's Chinese ownership, that it compromises um, this platform and that platform. I want you to compare that to, you know, what is happening with other platforms, including X. But so if, if you're concerned about <laughs> the Chinese, and all of this, Red Chinese. then why do it? But I just want to get to some other things before I get into that. You, I don't know if you saw me writing notes. I was writing down White House National Security Advisor, and now Donald Trump I'm going to write down because I want to talk to you about, is that why you feel the way you feel about his court cases? But stand by for that. Okay, listen, so yeah. I want you to compare this to um, X. That's, you know, th that, that's Elon Musk's um, you know, digital platform or social media platform. Um, and it has caused huh. intense, in, intense controversy, I should say. Do you think the digital stroke? town squares? Do you think oh the God. digital town squares, any of them, like these, should be owned by one person tongue. or Jesus one organization Christ. who the person owns the microphone and the speakers <laughs> and the it's volume? Amazing. What? Well. <laughs> What a great cut. Uh, Steve Krakauer. Oh, wow. That is <laughs> well fabulous. It's Krakauer's like public access. That, that is amazing. <laughs> What's wow. happening? I'm going to write some notes. Uh, can you hang on for a second? That is amazing. And it's what I noticed. And I have to be honest about this. When the Elon thing came out that he had fired him, right? I said, well, that's terrible. That's not good. <laughs> from Elon's and point of from, view. Yeah, yeah, from yeah. Elon's point of view. That's terrible. We shouldn't do that. And then uh, we hadn't recorded an episode. And then by the time we recorded the episode, <laughs> I watched the interview. And I was like, oh, that was absolutely absolutely the right decision. This was not ideological. <laughs> it was the most bumbling, it's confused terrible. interview I'd ever heard. And they were just awful questions. Yeah. Unbelievable. Like, and by the way, like even the first thing that you show, like, TikTok's not even owned by China. It's owned by like, Chinese right. ownership. That's not even true. But you see what happens. And when you're in, um, you know, when you're ever an editor at a magazine or a newspaper, I know Matt has done this, you'll sometimes get copy from people that you loved, mm -hmm. right? And you'll see like them without their makeup on and you're like, oh my God, they can't write. Oh. All of us are doing it. And then you see Don Lemon had a big staff, right? And he has the IFB. People are like, Don, you're swallowing your tongue again. I'm going to tell you what to say. And he's like, okay, okay good. You're wearing and the weird no glasses. No one is there. The he's doing it on his own. And he's just like, so that, um, I don't know, there's a thing where it's called like X and this. And that. So is that good? It's like the Chris Farley show on SNL. If you ever saw it. The greatest, the greatest sketch so like, of all time. So like, like you were a Beatles. Remember when you were in the Beatles? What was that like? That was what that was. <laughs> remember when you were on Shark Tank? That was great. Unbelievable. So how much you put a wallet in his mouth is the greatest. Does anyone have a tongue depressor? He's like a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried about him. <laughs> Lord. The, the best part of that whole Elon Don Lemon flap is there's there's a week. Like this happens, mm. the news breaks. Elon looks dumb. It's just stupid. Why would yeah, you do yeah, that? Totally. Mr. Free Speech. Yeah. By the end of seven days, Elon has put Starship up into orbit, the largest rocket in history. Mm. He's helped a quadriplegic man like learn to use the computer with his mind, mm. which is amazing. Yeah. And he promises at the end of that, yeah, we're working on blindness next. We're right. going to start installing chips in your head. And yet he could so not make a see. star out of Don Lemon. I mean, He's yeah. like, this, the other good this thing, is too great a task. <laughs> Keeping in mind that the other good thing he did that week was not pay Don Lemon a party, <laughs> which yeah. is a, a noble, a noble Don goal. Lemon, who wanted half the company, he wanted to do he podcasts in space. He wanted to be shot in space, which was the only good idea. Cyber truck. <laughs> he wanted editorial control <laughs> yeah, over at yeah. Twitter. Well, at why not? Yeah. I mean, look at that. Sure, right? Yeah. <laughs> sure. He's a brilliant man. So yeah. here's another little... Um, little ditty. He weighed in on Candace Owens parting ways with the Daily Wire, and mm. this is what he had to say about it. Oh, no. Candace Owens finally went too far for the far right. The real story here is not the drama. It's not that. It's not the Daily Wire, their office politics. The story is the fact that Ben Shapiro, like Elon Musk before him, has been outed as a free speech fraud. So to say that Candace Owens is a firebrand would really be inaccurate because bigotry 
is her bread and butter. And that's exactly why Ben Shapiro and The Daily Wire hired her. They hired her because they traffic in bigotry and rage bait every single day, all while using free speech as a guise. The moment that Candace Owens said something vile about Israel, poof, Candace Owens is gone. Free speech for me, but not for thee. Oh, oh God! What? Jeez, he dramatic. That, so really straight out of the racial meadow. He, <laughs> cool. Yeah, that like sarcastic kind right? of. He's incredibly dumb, isn't he? Mm. You can yeah. you, you can, can by the way be mm. a bigot and a firebrand at the same time. Can I tell you something? Here's yeah. a true conversation on our team, and I will do the person who responded the courtesy of not naming them. But uh, he also claimed because Elon was calling him Don Veruca Salt. Yeah. Lemon, yeah. right? Because it was nasty <laughs> demands. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah, want it, yeah, I want yeah, it all. Yeah, I want it all. Yeah. And he was like, I've never even heard of Veruca Salt. And I'm like, that's a wow. lie. He grew up when I grew up. We've yeah. all heard of Veruca Salt. And the person on my team said, in his, oh, we have it. Okay, wait, let's listen. We have lots of Don Lemon queued up. Take, oh, let's good. take a listen. You know what I thought was funny? What? Because in pain, I always laugh. When he called you Veruca Salt, from the, <laughs> so oh, Elon that's Musk right. has been insulting Don. Some of the stuff I won't even read because I'm just not going to read it. Um, but he said you were like Veruca Salt from Elon, from, that you were asking for everything. And I but, thought, well, who doesn't ask for everything in a negotiation? <laughs> I, I mean, he's a shrewd and smart Me? businessman. And mm. to criticize you for asking, I think they said you asked for like $5 million and $8 million up front and whatever those details. Are you asked for a Tesla truck? I would have asked for a fleet of Teslas. <laughs> um, so you I didn't understand you that. Job. You would have humiliated yourself. Well, I was like, he's mad at you for being a good businessman? Here's the thing. Uh, that, that was is, a funny tweet. You got to admit it. But Baruch it's uh, well, this we have on the same call, yeah. right? I don't, know, I don't know who that is. But let, let me let me just say this. It's, ob it's an obvious distraction, right? And they're yeah. trying to, to sully by reputation. They're trying to smear me. I don't yeah. know who that is. There's yeah. no way he doesn't know who Veruca Salt is. But then said person on my team said, in his defense, he's dumb. Yeah, he doesn't he's know dumb. a lot of yeah. things. He also, lot of things. in it's his possible. defense, Megan, no one knows Veruca Salt as well as you. That's know true. Yeah. That's Salt. true. <laughs> you I know her well. had dinner with Veruca Salt. <laughs> uh, 100%. I yes, did have. Yes. Yes. That's right. I did. That's yes. right. I that's right. I, I have her in that. my phone. I can text Veruca right now. Yeah. Don Lemon has no idea who you are. She's like, who? I don't know Don Lemon. I told my nine year old daughter that because we recently watched. The, the original and, and her mind was absolutely blown. I'm finally someone because I know someone who knows. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you some behind the scenes pictures you can show to her. This is my only claim to fame. I do, um, getting back to the um, very important issue at hand, mm. I do want to point yeah. out that two people who have been fired from cable news, former MSNBC host and a former CNN host, uh, who don't, you know, and has some, I don't know, what the, where, where's that show, the Tamron Hall show? Oh, yeah. I don't, I think, I think it's on like Bosnia or something. <laughs> so, the Albanian television. It doesn't like, make a lot of headlines. But I think that I understand why, because they both believe that asking for an insane thing is good negotiating. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, that's just, just, that's for, just yeah, business. That's just business. You ask for 40, 40 million dollars. I, I like, need 200 that's bad. billion dollars. What are they saying? That's, yeah. Yeah. that is absurd. What's wrong with you? Everyone, that trust you me, as, that's that's you so, as somebody who actually has negotiated yeah, yeah. several contracts yeah. in cable news and broadcast news, you know that's exactly the opposite of what you do. You yeah. you make a demand that is reasonable, that is a big, yeah, yeah, that yeah. you know you think you could get over what you think it's actually going to land at because you yeah. want to leave yourself some room for negotiation. But you don't want to make yourself look like an asshole, yes. right? <laughs> that you, you, This is you're off on a new foot with your employer. You don't want to make yourself look like an asshole. Nobody in history has asked to be the first person in space <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and for that's full editorial control over any news decisions made. <laughs> like that's something, maybe Rachel Maddow has that at MSNBC because she appears to be running the joint. Don right. Lemon at Twitter, I when mean, this guy's resurrecting him from the dead, yeah, yeah, yeah. the hubris. If you went back 20 years and you thought like there's gonna be a cable news guy who sucks and gets fired and then in his next job, he's gonna demand to go into space or you can't hire him. Like what is going on with this world? No, that the the interview style. Watch the Elon Musk one. He's um, he's a very bad debater. Mm -hmm. He keeps getting tripped up by Musk, who is like a very odd guy. I mean, I've seen him do this up close, and he's just like a brilliant guy, but he's he's kind of a, a weird, socially a very strange guy. Mm -hmm. And he just handles him the whole time, <laughs> and he's flustered like the, the whole interview. That's why it was so bad. He's just not very good at follow up questions. Yeah. He's reading off. Don't read. Listen. Know your subject. Yeah. Listen. And go in knowing your subject and talk. Have a Conversation One of the closing bits in that interview, because I, I suspect most people haven't watched it all the way through. You've seen clips, like but right hours, towards yeah. the end, um, there's this moment where Elon says to, to Don, 
think about your next question very carefully. You mm. don't have much time left. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. So good. <laughs> Truer words. Well, apparently his second interview was of Kara Swisher, tech journalist Kara Swisher, and she hasn't even retweeted it. She retweets all of her podcasts. Oh, she's wow. going, at least she has it over the past, you know, yeah. recent past. Mm. Not that one. If you're yeah. too dumb for mm. Kara Swisher, That's, ouch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ouch. Grand Canyon University a private Christian university in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona, believes in equal opportunity and that the American dream starts with purpose. Change the world for good by putting others before yourself. Whether your pursuit involves a bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degree, GCU's online, on-campus, and hybrid learning environments are designed to help you achieve your unique academic, personal, and professional goals. With over 330 academic programs as of September, GCU meets you where you are and provides a path to help you fulfill your dreams. The pursuit to serve others is yours. Let it flourish. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. Visit gcu.edu. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.